I want to inspire you to get urgent about your rhythm of consistent creating. Let me explain. At this point, I have made over 2,000 videos. 1,800 of them are on my YouTube channel, and I've made well over that if you consider all the different course uh, videos I've made and videos that I just didn't upload to YouTube. I've written over 300 blog posts, and one day I just woke up and realized those numbers, and I'm like, where did that time go? The time passes anyway. The months will pass. The years will pass, and the question is, did you create during that time? And why is creating so important? I should first say this. I liken it to the rhythms of your body that keep you alive. Aren't you glad that your heart just keeps thumping consistently? Aren't you glad that your breath just keeps going in and out consistently? The organic body, very organic process, is extremely consistent. Otherwise, we get sick. Same thing with our business, with our confidence, with what I call our creativity fitness. If you don't get consistent, then you get flabby, you get weak, you get sick in your business. Your business doesn't thrive. So nothing is, as, nothing is important in my business, and I hope in yours as well, as the consistent rhythm of creating. And that is the one thing I wish urgency for you to feel. Like, oh my gosh, am I, just like if your heart started to pause and skip a beat, you would feel very urgent to take care of that issue. Or if your breath is not consistent, you'd be very urgent to take care of it. And I want you to feel that urgency for your consistent creating as well. Now, it, I, it's also true that I take breaks, as you know, from creating, but those breaks are also consistent. Those breaks are planned. Every four to five weeks, I already have it in my calendar for the whole year, I take a sabbatical from creating. One week, no creating. And then I come back and I'm very consistent for the next four weeks or five weeks or whatever my plan is. Get consistent because the years will pass and you'll wonder, gosh, I'm, I'm still stuck. I'm still wondering what my niche is. You know, oh, I'm still afraid of making a bad impression. What if my next video isn't good and it gets some, loses some subscribers, loses some, all of that, all of those limiting beliefs that keep you stuck are solved when you say, I don't care about what happens. All I care about is my consistent creating and publishing of content, of products, offers, you know, whatever you want to call it, but both free things you consistently create and paid things you consistently create, no matter the results. I always want to remind you of the beautiful quote that, you know, to, um, from the Bhagavad Gita, doesn't matter, but it's the same idea has been said by many, you know, wise people over the years. You don't have a right to the results of your actions. That's essentially what the quote says. You do not have a right to the results of your actions. What you do have a right to is your actions and the, the attitude and spirit with which you take those actions. You have a right to that. It's the divine, it's the universe that has the right to give you the results to your actions. And so we surrender. We surrender to the Tao, you might say. We surrender what, what happens with this video. What happens with, oh, I'm not in a good mood today, but I am urgent about sticking with my rhythm of creating, so I'm going to create and publish anyway. Not in a good mood. I'm not, I'm not brilliant. To, I don't feel brilliant. I don't feel creative today. It doesn't matter. You know, the sun rises and sets no matter how the sun feels. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful. The body continues to breathe. It tries its very best to keep breathing. The organic the organic rhythms of nature, the organic rhythms of the body. You know, some people say, oh, George, I'm not a machine like you. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not a machine either, right? The organic rhythms of body, of animal, of the elements, of the human body, of nature, it's all extremely consistent. 
You know, it's funny, the one thing that's keeping you from being consistent is your monkey mind, right? The monkey mind goes, oh, making all kinds of excuses and all kinds of, oh, look at this, look at that. But funny thing is in nature, monkeys are extremely consistent, right? With their feeding, their resting, their playing, their grooming, you look at their patterns, very consistent, right? I don't know where the monkey mind, the monkey mind, I understand the playfulness of it, but get urgent. I'm relaxed about so much in life and so much in my business. The one thing I'm not relaxed about and the one thing that I hope you never get relaxed about is your rhythm of creating. It is like the blood. It's like the blood pumping. It's like the breath coming in and out. The rhythm of creating should always be consistent, except for breaks. Breaks, you, you take breaks, hopefully planned, because otherwise you're being inconsistent again and it's kind of like, no. You know, nature has breaks, but they're very consistent. There's winter, right? And then there's, of course, spring and summer, da, da, da. That's a consistent, but it's but it's it's well known. It's a pattern. Let that be in your own rhythm of creating as well. Get urgent about getting back into your rhythm, and do not let any of the anxieties and fears stop you. I know they're there, but practice setting them aside and surrender. Surrender the results, but do not surrender what you have a right to, which is taking action and creating. And I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.